Hey there, traders. Jeff here from Easy Language Mastery. Today we will dive into the world of candlestick patterns, precisely the intriguing hammer and hanging man patterns. These are two popular candlestick patterns. We want to know if they have any practical value as algorithmic traders. In short, can we make money with these price patterns? Let's find out. Let's first start with talking about the hammer pattern. The hammer pattern is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern that can occur at the end of a downtrend. It is said that this pattern signifies that the bears have lost their grip on the market and the bulls are stepping in to hammer out a new direction. See what I did there? Let's break it down into the nitty gritty details to understand why it's a must know for any algo trader. Visual appeal. The hammer pattern is easily recognizable with a small real body at the upper end of the candlestick and a long lower shadow, often twice the size of the real body. It resembles a hammer, hence the name. The upper shadow should be small or non-existent to be a true hammer. Reversal signal. As mentioned earlier, the hammer pattern appears at the end of a downtrend, indicating that the selling pressure is fading and the buyers are regaining control. This can be an excellent signal for algo traders looking to enter a long position as the price is expected to rise. Confirmation is critical. While the hammer pattern can be a strong signal, waiting for confirmation before acting is essential. This can be a bullish candlestick following the hammer or other technical indicators supporting the reversal. This helps algo traders avoid false signals and increase their chances of success. Versatility. The hammer pattern can be applied to various time frames from intraday to daily or weekly charts. This versatility allows algo traders to design strategies that cater to their preferred trading style and time horizon. So the hammer pattern is a visually striking and easily identifiable bullish reversal signal that can be incorporated into your algo trading toolbox. By understanding its significance and waiting for confirmation, you'll be ready to take advantage of this candlestick pattern. Now let's move on to the hanging man pattern. The hanging man pattern is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern that can appear at the end of an uptrend. It's like the hammer's evil twin, signaling that the bulls are losing their grip and the bears are about to take the reins. Here's why algo traders should keep a keen eye on this sneaky pattern. Mirror image. The hanging man pattern looks similar to the hammer pattern with a small real body at the upper end of the candlestick and a long lower shadow. The critical difference lies in its position. The hanging man shows up at the end of an uptrend, while the hammer emerges after a downtrend, turning the tide. When the hanging man appears, it suggests that despite the bull's best efforts to increase prices, the bears are lurking in the shadows, ready to pounce. Algo traders can use this signal to prepare for a potential shift in market sentiment and consider short selling opportunities. Don't jump the gun. Just like with the hammer pattern, waiting for confirmation is necessary before acting on the hanging man. A bearish candlestick or other technical indicators supporting the reversal can help algo traders avoid falling into a trap laid by false signals. Adaptable and reliable. The hanging man pattern can be applied to various time frames and markets, making it a versatile tool for algo traders. Remember that while no pattern is foolproof, Incorporating the hanging man into a well-rounded trading strategy can help you stay ahead of the game. The hanging man pattern is the bearish counterpart to the hammer pattern, offering algo traders valuable insights into potential market reversals. By learning to recognize this ominous pattern and waiting for confirmation, you'll be well equipped to outsmart even the craftiest bears. Remember, this is all theory. Do these patterns work? You don't have to wonder as an algorithmic trader who can program in easy language. You can perform experiments and tests to see if these patterns hold any value. We don't have to spend time coding these two patterns. TradeStation already has a function called C underscore hammer underscore hanging man. So we'll use that to create our code and implement the entry signals. I will add to our testing code the ability to choose long only, short only, or both, as well as a stop loss and profit target for exits. Here's what the code looks like. Remember, you can download this code from my website, Easy Language Mastery. See the description below this video for details. Let's check that our code works correctly. Red dots should be short entries and green dots should be long entries. Yes, this looks good. It appears the code is working correctly, highlighting both bullish and bearish price patterns. Let's continue with our test. We want to test this pattern on different markets and time frames. 
Remember, we want to see which markets or time frames where our candlestick patterns work well. This process of testing can be very time consuming. Imagine loading this on different charts on different markets and recording the results. This could take hours. There is a better way. We can use an online backtesting tool called Tradesk. Tradesk is an online tool allowing you to test your trading ideas on many popular futures markets across eight intraday time frames. You can read more about Tradesk in the article, How I Trade Like a Hedge Fund. See the video description for the link. Okay, let's test our candlestick patterns with Tradesk. I loaded the code into Tradesk and selected all 43 futures markets, 11 time frames, and the input range we wanted to test. I'll be testing our patterns from 2010 through 2021. Two ticks of slippage will be deducted for each round trip trade. When Tradesk has completed all back tests, it generates a results table. This table lists the markets and the number of edges. You might be wondering what is an edge? An edge is a successful run that's passed filter requirements. The more edges a given market displays, the more back tests produced passing results. In short, a higher number of edges is better. Our results show many edges in the currency, energy, grains, index, and metals sectors. Some examples include NASDAQ NQ on a 180 minute time frame, VIX VX on a 15 minute time frame, wheat W on a 480 minute time frame, high grade copper HG on a 240 minute time frame. Put another way, these markets show promise when utilizing our Hammer and Haining Man candlestick price patterns. In conclusion, this test only intends to find edges in the futures markets using our two simple candlestick patterns with random profit targets and stop losses. Tradesk helped us save time and effort in selecting the best markets and time frames. That was a real time saver. Remember the strategy I created in this video is not a fully developed trading system. You would need to test additional filters, exits, and stops. Also, you would need to perform proper robustness tests to validate the final trading system. Put another way, we use TradeStation's Easy Language and Tradesk to quickly discover which markets and time frames the hammer and hanging man price patterns likely work well. From our test, we discovered several great starting points for building potential winning trading systems. Think how powerful that is. No more guesswork or wondering if a candle pattern will work. When you know how to code in easy language, you can quickly test candlestick patterns to see if they work or not. Amazing, right? With this type of testing, we're trading with objective evidence, which is something most traders don't do. Most traders rely on hope or wishful thinking. Knowing how to code in easy language is a trading superpower. If you want to get the easy language code and TradeStation workspace used in this video, remember to join the Easy Language Mastery Insider. It's free and you'll get access to all our easy language code. Check the description below for details. And that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more trading insights and strategies. Check out my blog where you will find many more trading examples like this. All the links are in the video description below. Do you have an indicator you want me to test? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for now. See you soon.